We're literally part of a TV sorority. We and are. and how much do you love the View sisterhood? I love it. It yes. means so much to me and you mean so much to me. I don't even know if you remember this, but when I signed my deal sheet, um, you gave me a call. I don't know yes. how you got my number, but you gave me a call. <laughs> Girl, I can stalk somebody if I want you to. You really did, and you were like, I heard you coming on the show. And I was like, yeah, I'm joining the show. She was like, did, did they uh, give you car stipend? I was like, no. <laughs> did they give you this? I was like, no. I was like, let me get my deal sheet out. And you basically went over your salary for the entire time you were there. And you also gave me Jenny McCarthy's salary. Yes, I did. She got me I paid. I gave everybody's salary. You gave me everyone's salary, and I went back to my agent. I was like, you did not get me enough money. There you go. <laughs> because I got it from Rosie. Rosie O'Donnell gave me everybody's salary and hers, and I fit, you got to pay it forward. It because... was very helpful, Sherry. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> You gotta stick together. That's right. Okay. Well, you know, in this speaking of sticking together, yeah. you have a group of girlfriends. I've <laughs> never heard this term for a group of girlfriends, but you call yourselves the machetes. Yes. Okay. Yes. The machetes. Look at this, and you all the ladies here. <laughs> oh, now where did yes. you get the name Machete? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm gonna tell this story. But um, <laughs> my grandmother, who's from Puerto Rico, used to keep a machete right. above her couch. Okay. I have that machete in my house as well. <laughs> and there was a, an affair that happened in our family. Yeah. And my grandmother took the machete off and went to the person's house and was brought me along. <laughs> I was there, and was waving it around and yeah. basically said to the person, don't show up around my, uh -huh. you know, family right. anymore. Anymore. And, and the person did not. Okay. <laughs> and so it's for. So I had told my, my friends this story and they were like, we are the machetes because we will take a machete out on somebody. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I'm... they're amazing. I mean, it's Angela Rye, Jamel Hill, Latasha Brown, Tiffany Cross. Wow. Uh, Brittany Pagnett Cunningham, Erin Haynes, Alicia Garza who founded Black Lives Matter, mm -hmm. um, Joy Reid and then, you know, statuesque, Carrie Champion. I never stand next to Carrie. Oh my she's goodness. She's six feet tall and she makes me look short. It's not even about the tall, it's all of the successful, beautiful melanin queens yeah. in this picture. They're amazing. Girl, and look at y'all. <laughs> what? Okay, I They're wanna amazing. know how did the machetes <laughs> first get together? You know, it was Angela Rye. She, yeah. um, we were friends with her but we weren't friends with each other. Okay. And she said, we need Biden to choose a black woman as his vice presidential candidate. Okay. And she called me and I was like, what do you want to do about it? And she was like, let's write an op-ed in the mm. Washington Post and tell Biden what he needs to do. Yeah. Because black women are the very backbone of the Democratic Party because we come out and we vote, we get our husbands to vote, we get our children Absolutely. to vote. And we wrote an op-ed together that went viral. I remember that. We even got a call from the president, uh -huh. the now president. He wasn't the president then. And he listened to us. And I don't think we're solely responsible for Vice President Kamala Harris, but I think we had a little hand in it. All right. Yeah. He did, and he called and did he, did he say thank you? He didn't really say thank you, uh -huh. but he wanted our thoughts. Yeah. And I appreciated that. It's nothing like a bunch of black women and they next start moving. <laughs> Their neck starts moving. We, we did, we did a video that accompanied the op-ed. And all of y'all had your necks moving because you know you meant business. We need a female vice president that is a black woman. That's what I'm talking about. We did a lot of that. We did.